guys are scoring like you are inside the red zone with with the red zone touchdowns and the red zone touchdown percentage. I mean, uh, top three in the entire country. Can you walk us through that mentality and just what makes it click? Well, I, I think it's something that uh, all of us, it, it's been a point of emphasis since last year. Uh, having kicked too many field goals last year and, and uh, you know, something that uh, credit to our guys. I mean, they've, they've embraced that mindset and, and that level of focus uh, from from last season and, and uh, something that we've spent time on as a staff. And, uh, you know, it's it's been fun to kind of uh, dive into that and, and solve some problems, answer some questions, kind of stay ahead of things that way. And uh, something we got to continue to do because it's, uh, I mean, those windows are, are smaller down there. The, Margin for error is 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 much less, and um, you know, and even this year, there's there's room and, and some opportunity for us to continue to get better. But uh, just that mindset of finishing and and you know, not easing up after you've had a good drive, but being able to sprint through that finish line and, and uh, punch that thing in. They've our guys have done a great job. What kind of thrill is it for you as a play caller when you can get a few guys their first touchdowns of their career? You know, it's 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 always fun and and shoot. As a player, you always remember that first one. Uh, you know when it when and how it happens and all the things that going into it. And uh, you know, with uh, Oakley, his first one. You know, I was talking to him afterwards. And he said, "Yeah, I heard the call." And I'm like, "Hey, this this might be it." You know, even that little kind of spark before the before the play even happens. So uh, you know, but again, I think that's one really cool thing about what our players and, and what our guys have done this season is is there's a great balance, you know, and, and it's, it gives us the opportunity as a staff and, and us as an offense to truly kind of move and, and take what what that defense is giving us uh, and knowing that a, there's five different guys that could answer the bell on, on any play or, or situation. And, uh, and they have, uh, all those, a lot of guys have stepped up and, and made some big plays. One of the biggest challenges is they're only allowing about three point yards per rush. What makes them so hard to run against? Uh, I mean, they're they're physical. Uh, I think they're playing extremely hard. Uh, they have great length and size. I mean, they're, there's uh, uh, they're hard to move, you know. And so it's uh, <clears throat> you know you got to find find good angles and, and creases and and uh, you know when, when you get them you got to take advantage of it. So it's. Uh, it, it's a great challenge for our guys. Um, I know they're they're excited for that opportunity. What? How important is it to get that semblance of a run game, if not a full blown run game against Texas? Well, I I think it's something that we're we're gonna have to work the game really well, you know, because obviously they're it's not just the you know in the rush. I mean they're 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 a good uh, their their defense has put up really really good numbers in a lot of different categories, and so I think for us being able to to work the game and be patient, you know, if maybe it's like, uh, you know, just because maybe you, you don't have a couple successful runs, you, hey, you got to stay the course and, and continue to work the game as, uh, from a staff standpoint and, and from a player standpoint. And uh, obviously, it'll, I mean, it, it's going to be a heavyweight fight, and it, it is every year, and, and, and got to make sure that we stay in it and stay focused and, and uh, uh, keep running our race. Defense has got it rolling pretty well right now. I'm just curious, are you able to be less aggressive or more aggressive based on what you think you're going to get from that side of the ball? You know, I, maybe a little bit as, as the game is uh, kind of progresses, but uh, for myself and, and us as an offense, we're trying to score as many as we can every, every single week, you know, and obviously we got to find one way, uh, find a way to score one more than they do, whether that's. 10 to 9 or or 72 to 68 you know whatever but um the, that's more of a feel probably in game I and mean, we're trying to again like i said uh, score as many as we can every week how good of a blocker is cooper at the second level right now he he's he's fantastic and and you look at uh a lot of those guys uh Beebs, gilly kt i mean those guys are athletic yeah, athletic cats now so being able to get them out on the edge on uh, with some of our schemes um, is a great thing and, and we've had a lot of success with that and so he's uh, I mean he's he's fantastic in every element of the game 
would have been like for you to run, by, run behind him? <laughs> I wouldn't have said no. <laughs> no, but I was, I was fortunate to play with some great ones too. <laughs> would it be fair to say like your approach to the running back position right now is almost like the quarterback where you're going hot hand in both spots at this point? A little bit, uh, you know, and, and it's Coach Anderson's kind of managing managing that a little bit, sometimes even mid-game, mid-flow based on field position and, and kind of how things are going with me uh, and kind of where we're going with things schematically. But, uh, again, have uh, both of those guys have done a tremendous job. They, they've made some huge, huge plays and uh, have great faith and, and trust in both of them that whatever situation they're in or we're in at the time, that they're, they're going to answer the bell for us. I tried to wait for you, by the way. They said, you know, the heck with that. Right. I'm just running on my own clock. Okay. <laughs> not, not cat time. Um, how important was last week for Will to really have a really excellent week and kind of get that back? Yeah, well, I, I think he's had a really a, a good couple weeks and, and kind of settled settled in well. and. Um, uh, shoot, I, I, he, he's an unbelievable player, uh, unbelievable person, and, and uh, uh, him being able to settle in and, and play as clean as and, and as efficiently as he has is uh, not surprising at all. Uh, but obviously, great to great to see, and uh, I know there's more in him too as, as we continue to push forward and uh, all of us try to get better. And, and uh, he's done a great job leading, and. Uh, he, he and Avery both have, have done a tremendous job uh, through this whole process. So it's both are off the chart. Big picture, why do you think you guys have been able to highlight tight ends in the passing game uh, more this year than we've seen in the past? Um, you know, I, I, I think, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I think we've got some really, really good length and really, really good talent at that position, which, which makes it uh, easier, uh, I think. Uh, they've done a great job of <clears throat> when when they've gotten matchups, being able to win and and uh, uh, create separation at times. And, and uh, there's a lot of great confidence and continuity between them and the quarterbacks. Uh, I think a lot of the things we're able to do uh, complement our run game extremely well. And so we're able to pair some things up, whether it be formationally, um, action-wise, or whatever the situation is, uh, to be able to uh, put strain on people. You know and, and you create those extra gaps and, and extra hats in certain ways, then there's going to be some more space uh, based on some of those fits to be able to get in the football. So uh, combination of a lot of things, but first and foremost, they, they've worked their butts off and a uh, really talented group. How much will the outcome on Saturday predicate how the rest of the season's going to play out for you guys? You know what? This <laughs> The Big 12, uh, is it's a one-week season, you know, and it has been the last – Three weeks for us, and and nothing's going to change this week, and won't change next week based on uh, obviously the ball game. So uh, we've just got to keep our nose down and and truly uh, focus on the little things that that make you successful, playing and play out. And uh, it sounds cliche, but the teams that are able to do that are able to to provide that consistency, get better through the year, and uh, ultimately finish where you want to be. So. Uh, Got to just keep that up. I feel like we've made some good progress uh, in a lot of areas, some obvious, some not, uh, that, that we have to continue uh, here these next four weeks. What was Avery's mentality after the fumble on Saturday? Well, you know, it, both my guys, and I think maybe probably a little bit is just how quarterbacks are wired, but there's no one that's harder on uh, <laughs> themselves than, than those two cats, and I'm speaking about Avery and Will. So. Uh, you know, and, and both those guys uh, are so invested and in, in, in so uh, passionate about trying to be excellent. Uh, obviously, he, he was tore up and frustrated. He made a mistake, uh, you know, but, but at the end of the day, um, I had all the confidence and, and, he's, and those guys have confidence that, hey, you've got to jump right back out there and, and learn from it and, and uh, you know, keep pressing forward. And so, um, you know, I, I think his, his mindset was, uh, was very positive in that way.